clog sink. I'm going to show you how you can unclog this without no chemicals. Very simple process. It shouldn't take you more than 15, 20 minutes. I'm Rick. This is the shack. Hello and welcome. If this is your first time viewing my channel, thank you so much for taking some of your time out to check out my videos. Today I'm going to show you how you can go about cleaning out your clogged drain with no chemicals. Very easy, very simple. Don't need a lot of knowledge, don't need some major tools. Very, very basic. I am on a septic tank, so chemicals isn't an option. I don't use chemicals of any kind and the very few that I use I use them very sparingly because I don't want to ruin my septic tank plus if we can get away from chemicals it's a good thing anyway normally I clean my drains out seriously about once every month and a half only because my wife's hair gets down in these drains and clogs it up yes my wife's hair this has only been the last year if you notice the drain starting to slow and you kind of have a smell coming out of it, that's a good indication that there's hair down there starting to decompose. So we're going to go through the process of cleaning this out. Very simple, very basic, and it should be part of your normal maintenance around the house. Now as far as the tools, I have a set of 12 inch channel locks. I have just a piece of dowel doesn't matter the length you've got a scrap piece of wood laying around as long as it's a small diameter i would go any more than a half inch something you can stick down into the pipe of the sinks paper towels there will be water in here have yourself a little bowl sit underneath it to trap any of the water that leaks out now you have two fittings here that need to be loosened up if they are too tight use your channel locks Loosen it up, or like my case, they're usually just tight enough they don't leak. I can unloosen them by hand. Just crack them open and let the water drain a little bit. There it goes. Keep loosening it little by little until it comes apart. That'll drop down. Unloosen the other side. Hold on to it so it doesn't drop. Then pull it down, and you're going to see the hair being clogged in there. Now the water's out of this, you can put it in the sink for now. Now on the back here, you're going to see this bar coming down, and you see this bar going into the drain of your sink. This is the lever that opens and closes the stop. Again, if you need to use the pliers, use it to unloosen this. It should be hand tight. Unloosen that. And pull that out and you'll see there may have some hair stuff on that that needs to be cleaned off you'll see the little clip here pull that clip together and that bar will slide right out pull the clip together slide it on so you don't lose it now that that's removed we can actually pull the drain stop out let's go up top I don't know if you can really see it or not but man that is filthy nasty from all the hair in there getting down so you can take that out and you're gonna see all the hair this is why this stinks that's nasty with a paper towel I'm gonna start scraping some of this off initial cleaning just to get all this hair off of there see look at all that and it's just clogged and sitting there decomposing look at all that nasty and again just kind of wipe this off a little bit get all that stuff off of there that's just all decomposing and this is where you're getting your stink from and you can get your sink cleaned up again now you get all this stuff out of the way i'm going to wad that up shove it in there wad another one up shove it in there and this is where that piece of dowel rod comes in to shove it through because it's going to get everything along the side it's clean it all out as you exit it now at this time you may want to dump the water out in another bathroom or just dump this in the toilet. Now watch as I push that rod through and it pushes the paper towels through, all the stuff's gonna come out and get rid of all this. Look at all that coming out.
there it is now as you see that's nice and clean and there will be no more smell now I do the same with this but I don't need the rod I'm just basically sticking this through here get another one and it's going to just come up through there there and just pull them out now what I will do is I'll go like into the kitchen and I'll just run the water through here to kind of clean that out just just because I don't want any of that stink in there now that we have everything nice and clean there's all that the other one thing I would suggest if you have an old toothbrush keep that in there as part of your arsenal use that to scrub these things so you can get in here and stuff really well clean this all off now when we reassemble this we'll put our stop in and then we're gonna have to reach around and get this lined up with the hole underneath there because when this lever goes up and down that's what opens and closes this stop so we're gonna set it in that way set that in there like that and then we're going underneath and get this and find that hole and connect it squeeze this together pull that out slide that in and you may have to reach up on top and pull the there it goes you may have to reach up top and grab the stop and lift up a little bit to get that thing to line up and then slide this in and if you just by moving this up and down you'll be able to feel the stop going up and down then you know you have it connected pull a lot a little bit so you know it is connected if you have this sitting on top and you pull on it it'll come off that way you know you have it in a little slot that's connected now slide that onto the fitting back there put this little clip ring around squeeze it together where it slides in that hole tighten this back up just snug it you don't have to tighten it real tight just make sure finger tight is good and once you turn the water on check everything if there's any leak here just tighten it a little bit more and it'll stop another little side note if you tighten this too tight let me just tighten this up it doesn't want to move very hard so you have to just tighten it up until you can feel it starting grabbing and again once you turn the water on if it leaks just tighten it a little bit more until you make sure it's not stopping but it should open and close smoothly with just a slight resistance not bad Let's make sure we have this connected properly. We lift this up, it should put the drain down, push down, it should open it up. Closes, push down, opens up. We're good to go. Now, the last thing I'm going to do is just kind of reach up here, just because I know there's stuff in there. Get a couple of those cleaned out. Take both of these, hook this one up first, a few screws to hold it on. Now, set this up in there, push in. Let's get that started and then do this one. You want to make sure there's no binding that sits in there good. It sits right now. There we go. Now turn the water on. Keep the bucket underneath here. Turn the water on. We'll check for leaks. Water's running through. No leaks. Very good. See, very, very basic tools, some paper towels, no chemicals. And literally, if I didn't have to set the camera and do things, this takes me 15 minutes. I'm a little strange. I actually, when I do this, I put a shot glass of mouthwash in the sink just to let it sit there. So it's just making everything smell spring fresh all over. But this should be part of your maintenance of your house. Every couple months, minimum, I would go around, pop them out real quick, make sure they're clean, make sure there's nothing in there. Especially, again, if you have daughters, 
that use the same bathroom to get ready. You're going to have makeup. You're going to have hair. You're going to have all the stuff going down that sink. It needs to be maintained. Why spend a couple hundred dollars and have a plumber come out and do exactly the same thing you just did? And if you haven't done it, it may take you half an hour. Once you've done it, you kind of know. 15 minutes, 20 minutes, max, you're done. Save yourself the money, the trouble, the hassle, inconvenience. Do it yourself. Appreciate you taking the time to view. I truly hope this has helped you in some way. Please like, subscribe. If you subscribe, hit that notification button so you are notified when I come out with these videos. Be blessed. Take back your shack. Build it for your sanity. My main thing is woodworking, but I also have a house to maintain, so I do these videos to help you. Thanks for watching. See you next video.